Well, tore the cylinder head off the farm old Briggs there and uh, uh, magically it started turning over all right. So I'm not a hundred percent sure what was going on before, but if you notice all that uh, grunge there, um, as well as in the cylinder head here, is loose flaky carbon. Um, I suspect what was wrong with it. If you see all this uh, crud here, maybe the exhaust valve was open and uh, a bunch of uh, crap blew in. Um, and then uh, when the piston came up to the top, it it jammed it against the head. You can kind of see uh, see some stuff stuck to the head there. So that's uh, what I suspect what was stopping it from turning over. I uh, I wasn't sure if it had a broken connecting rod. I doubted it because uh, you know the gas was uh, air with uh, particles was shooting out of the uh, exhaust. I I was leaning towards a uh, seized intake valve camshaft come up against it and stopped it but it's like the crankshaft wouldn't turn over quite enough to to do that so so anyways this one kind of had me baffled too I noticed uh, this engine's got a uh, cast iron bore which is uh, good I'll complain about that fortunately though it's still got these uh, two uh, stripped out uh, intake uh, manifold uh, bolts in the block there so I don't know maybe I'll get my first lesson on uh, how to do uh, Healy coils or something so I still got a oh the other thing it had it had a broken flywheel key so now I've still got to uh, get the pulley off uh, that end there I'm sure that's going to be a real chore looks like it's uh, rusted on pretty good but anyway yeah uh, that uh, solves the mystery I guess it was uh, crud on top of the piston coming up and hitting the head so that that solves that one I'm kinda glad that's all it was rather than a broken connecting rod or a seized in valve or something but uh, anyway uh, thanks for your interest and hope you uh, made some good guesses at it thanks